Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement breadth first graph traversal technique. Already, we have discussed one example to implement breadth first search technique. Now, this is the second example. And this is the given graph. For this given graph, we need to find the breadth first search traversal. So, what do you mean by breadth first search traversal? Initially, in breadth first search technique, for the given graph, one vertex we need to identify as the starting vertex. We need to consider this starting vertex and mark it as visitor. Then, next step, we need to consider the adjacent vertices to the starting vertex 1. So, adjacent vertices, if you are considering in the sense 5, 6 and 7 here, all these three adjacent vertices to 1, we need to visit in specific order. That is, among these three vertex, we need to consider either in alphabetical order or number order. So, number order 5 comes first. So, so first we need to visit 5, next 6 and next 7 we need to consider. Next step, we need to consider the adjacent vertices to 5 and then visit 4 and 9. Next, consider adjacent vertices to 6, that is 10 you need to visit. Next, consider the adjacent vertices to 7 and visit those vertices in number order. So, likewise the procedure continues. And the data structure here we are going to implement for breadth first search traversal is Q data structure. So, now we will implement this breadth first search technique step by step. So, first step, consider the starting vertex 1. Okay, so this is the starting vertex and insert 1 into the queue. Since we are considering the starting vertex, insert the starting vertex we need to insert into the queue and mark 1 as visitor. Next, step 2, the adjacent unvisited vertex. Currently, we have visited the vertex 1. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to currently visited vertexes 5, 7 and 6. If there is more than one adjacent unvisited vertex in the sense, we need to break the tie by considering either in alphabetical order or number order. So, here I am considering a number order 5, 6 and 7. So, 5, 6 and 7. These three are the adjacent unvisited vertex to 1. Now, we have visited vertex 1 and we have considered all its adjacent unvisited vertex. So, this adjacent unvisited vertex we need to insert into the queue. Right? And since we have visited the vertex 1 and we have considered all its adjacent unvisited vertex and that also have been inserted into the queue. So, we need to delete 1 from the queue. And in the queue, if you are considering there are 3 vertices, the first vertex in the queue is 5, mark it as visitor. And 1 we have deleted from the queue in the sense we have to place it in the traversal output. So, 1 is the first vertex we have visited. Now, next step. Currently visited vertex is 5. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to 5 is 4 and 9. Insert 4 and 9 into the queue. Okay. So, currently visited vertex is 5 and, and we have considered all its adjacent unvisited vertex. Since we have visited vertex 5 and we have considered all its adjacent vertices, adjacent unvisited vertices in the sense, delete 5 from the queue. And in the queue, the first vertex is 6, mark it as visited. So, currently visited vertex is 6 in step 3. And the traversal output here, if you are considering in the sense, we have deleted 5 from the queue, place it in traversal output. So, 1 we have visited first, next is 5. Next is step 4, currently visited vertex is 6, right? Adjacent unvisited vertex to 6 is 10. Insert 10 into the queue and delete 6 from the queue. Since we have visited 6 and considered its adjacent unvisited vertex. And in the queue, the first vertex is 7, mark it as visited. So, traversal output is 1, we have visited and 5, we have visited. Next is 6, right? So, this is the order of vertices we have visited in step 4, okay? Next step, adjacent unvisited vertex to 7 is 3 and 9. But 9 already we have inserted into the queue by considering adjacent unvisited vertex to 5 itself. Okay. So, now we need to insert 3 into the queue, delete 7 from the queue. Since we have visited 7 and we have considered all its adjacent unvisited vertices. And 7 we need to delete and place it into the traversal output. So, this is the traversal output in step 5. 
and in the queue the first vertex is 4 marked as visited. Next step 6, currently visited vertex is 4. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to 4 is 2, insert 2 into the queue. Insert 2 into the queue and delete 4 from the queue. Since we have visited 4 and we have considered all its adjacent unvisited vertex. We need to delete 4 from the queue and we have to place it into the traversal output. And in the queue, the first vertex is 9, mark it as visited. So, currently visited vertex is 9. Next, adjacent unvisited vertex to 9 is only 2. Because 7 already it is visited and we have placed it into the traversal output. So, no need to consider 7. Only we have to consider the adjacent unvisited vertex. So, 5 also it is already visited, right? So, only adjacent unvisited vertex to 9 is 2. So, insert 2 into the queue. And we need to delete 9 from the queue. And the traversal output if we are considering in the sense it is 1, 5, 6, 7 and then we have visited 4 and then it is 9. And we need to delete 9 from the queue and we have to place it into the traversal output. And in the queue the first vertex is 10 mark it as visited. So, currently we have visited the vertex 10. Next step 8. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to currently visited vertex 10. So, adjacent unvisited vertex is 8. So, insert 8 into the queue and delete 10 from the queue. Okay, since we have visited and we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertex. So, delete 10 from the queue and we have to place it into the traversal output. So, 1, 5, 6, 7, 4, 9 and 10. Next, in the queue, the first vertex is 3 mark it as visited. So, currently visited vertex is 3. So, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to 3. So, that is 8 only because 7 is already visited and we have placed in traversal output also. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to 3 is 8 but it is already there in the queue. No need to insert 8 into the queue. Since we have visited vertex 3 and we have considered all its adjacent unvisited vertices, delete 3 from the queue and we have to place it into the traversal output. So, the traversal output is 1, 5, 6, 7, 4, 9, 10 and 3. And in the queue, first vertex is 2, mark it as visited. Next, step 10, currently visited vertex is 2, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to 2. There is no adjacent unvisited vertex. No need to insert anything into queue. So, delete it from the queue and we have to place it into the traversal output. And the traversal output here is 1, 5, 6, 7, 4, 9, 10, 3 and now it is 2, right? And in the queue, the first vertex is 8, mark it as visited. And consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to currently visited vertex 8. There is no adjacent unvisited vertex. So, no need to insert anything into the queue and delete 8 from the queue. Since we have visited 8 and we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertices. So, delete 8 from the queue and place it into the traversal output. Now, if you are considering the queue is empty, there is no adjacent unvisited vertices. So, now we have completed the graph traversal for this given graph. And the BFS traversal, if you are considering for this graph in the sense, it is 1, 5, 6, 7, 4, 9, 10, 3, 2, 8. So, this is the order of vertices we have visited. This is the BFS traversal order for this given graph. And this is the procedure to implement. Thank you for watching this video.